And then the lightning round is over. Are you ready, Ski? Daddy, it's time for the lightning round. Curtis, we'll start with Tom in New York. Tom. Jim, good evening. Good evening, Tom. Good meeting today, Jim. Much and how's better going? than last month, friend. <laughs> All right, let's make some money. What's up? Okay, listen, Jim, my question for you is on uh, um, Global Foundries. Uh, I don't like to frown you business as much. It turns out that the only people who really know how to make them cheaply is Taiwan Semi. So if you want to own a foundry, Taiwan Semi is the one to do it. Let's go to Bill in Connecticut. Bill. Hey, Jim. Thank you for taking my phone call. My pleasure. My, my, the stock that I'm talking about is stock symbol S, Sentinel-1. You know I what? Did. I had not been a believer in S. They're coming. He's coming after that guy. Tomer's really coming after George Kurtz. Holy cow. But I do think Sentinel's picking up some business, so therefore I'm going to tell you that I actually support it for only for a trade. Matt in Ohio, Matt. Hey Jim, thanks for taking my call. Um, sure. I've had this stock for a little while. The one that I'm calling about tonight, um, it's done well over the last two months. It got hit pretty hard after hours trading today. Uh, it needs some guidance. Uh, Clorox call signal CLX. Okay, so Linda Rendell has done a remarkable job. Let's understand that. She did not get a good hand. She was not delivered a good hand. I do believe that she's doing a job. How about the way she covered from that from that incredible cyber attack? She, boom, she was right there. And I like the fact that she wrote off the vitamin supplements. They were losing fortune. That that was a bad hand, too. I like her. I'm a buyer for her. Buy, 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 buy. Let's go to Dave in Iowa. Dave. Hey, Jim. Booyah from Northwest Iowa. Okay, I love Northwest Iowa. What's happening? Hey, 10 years ago, I purchased a couple hundred shares of Altria from my Roth. Uh, shares have doubled. Price has almost tripled in value. Uh, premise, where would you put it for a dividend high flyer, please? Right, this is so hard. Look, I used to be Altria's biggest supporter. I knew the CEO. I, I, I love, And then, you know, something's happened in your life and you see people die. And you see people die and it's connected to cigarettes. And then you decide, you know what? I can't take the money. I know that they don't care. I know if you buy it, it doesn't really matter. I can't live with myself having seen what happens. I'm going to have to take a pass on that question. The other people have a better answer. Let's go to Anthony in New York. Anthony. Booyah, Jim. Thanks for taking the call. Love the of show. Of course. Thank you, buddy. Uh, yeah, I wanted to ask you about Delta Airlines and how they I'm not recommending any. I'm not recommending any airlines. I mean, if they couldn't make that money with the extremely full flight and the overhead and you can't get in and move around, I can't get the seat. They take my seat. If I have $100, if I don't buy the seat, you're... Forget about it. How about Jake in South Carolina? Jake. Hey, Mr. Kramer, college football player here. Uh, just wanted to get your thoughts on Alphabet. Oh, D1, D2? Where are you? Are you D1? He's done? Oh, what are you talking about D1? I mean, a D1 player just called in. That's a big deal. All right, Alphabet, here's the problem with Alphabet. It's my least favorite of the Mag 7. Why? Because they don't run the company well. I did want, I like the fact that Jonathan Cantor wants to do one of these sum of the part situations. It's just that the problem is he's in the Justice Department. He's not an analyst. If he was a corporate finance guy, if Jonathan, if Jonathan Cantor were a corporate finance guy, that stock would be double. All right, is that it? No, give me some more. Let's go to George in Massachusetts. George. Uh, hi, Jim. Uh I bought stock in Ferrari when it was around $50 right after it came public. The stock is now around $450. Uh, should I hold on to the stock? Or George, do you really need me? Look what you did. You bought it 50. I mean, I'm sitting here nursing the stuff that I own, like some stocks that I'm down like 20% on. You know more than anybody. Take out your cost basis and let the rest run. But I'm like, George, you're my co-host from now on. I'm getting rid of Canner. Canner was my co-host for a day. And that, ladies and gentlemen, conclusion of the lightning round. The Lightning Round is sponsored by Charles Schwab. Coming up, Kramer took your questions at today's monthly meeting, but he's not done yet. We hear more from you next. Booyah, Jim. Your integrity makes you the Booyah Saint of Wall Street. Booyah, Jimmy Chill. Booyah, Jimmy Chill. Booyah, Jim. Quadruple. That's a lot of booyahs.
Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Cramer on X. Have a question? Tweet Cramer. Hashtag Mad Mentions. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.